More than 64 million Americans live with a disability, but many don't have a service dog to help them live more independently. Today, we are joined by Raquel White, VP of Corporate Affairs for Yukonuba USA, and Paige Mazzoni, CEO of Canine Companions, and of course, Jingle, the service dog, to discuss their campaign for National Service Dog Awareness Month. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Now, first I want to ask Paige, many of our viewers have seen a service dog at work, but perhaps don't know what jobs they may be fulfilling. So can you tell us more about the role of service dogs? Absolutely. 64 million Americans have a disability that, and most of those disabilities can be helped by the support of a service dog. At Canine Companions, we train service dogs and place them with people with over 65 disabilities. Everything from physical disabilities to cognitive disabilities, hearing loss, and military-related PTSD. We place our dogs free of charge with children, adults, and veterans uh, and to help them mitigate the symptoms of their disabilities and, and have tasks that help them live more independently. We also have facility dogs who work with their handlers in settings like the criminal justice system, schools, hospitals, rehab centers. And we have a 98% success rate at matching dogs with people to help them with their disability. Now, usually it's people taking care of dogs, but here, in so many ways, the dogs are taking care of people. So, what specifically do you train these dogs to do? Canning Companions invented the concept of the modern service dog in 1975. At that time, we developed methods of training that we have evolved over the years and that are now taking place on our seven campuses across the United States, including one in Columbus, Ohio, with our trainers. And our trainers train the dogs in over 45 tasks. Those tasks include everything from retrieving items to opening and closing doors, to pulling wheelchairs, to helping a child get dressed in the morning, to taking a person with hearing loss, alerting them to a sound and taking them to the source of that sound. All things that are really invaluable to someone with a disability to enable them to live more independently. We are also very careful to uh, learn the aptitude of each dog and really place them with a client that is well matched with their specific skills and strengths to mitigate the symptoms of that client's disability. We have Alex here from our New York campus with Thorin, and Alex is going to give us a little demonstration of some of those tasks. Thorin, get. Good job, buddy. Come on, get up. Lap. Good boy. Very nice. Good. Give. Yay. Nice job, bud. Get off. Right. Thorin, push. Yeah, good boy. Push. Good boy, very nice, Thorin, very good job. And speaking of finding good matches, Yukonuba USA and Canine Companions has their campaign during National Service Dog Awareness Month. Raquel, please tell us more about that. Absolutely, you know, Yukonuba is so proud to have partnered with Canine Companions for more than 30 years, and we're very excited to bring this next campaign to life as the uh, science-based nutrition partner of Canine Companions, where we formulate food specifically with the needs of working dogs and service dogs in mind. So this year, in order to help with fundraising, we have a campaign called Feed Yukonuba Fuel Independence. And pet owners can now go buy a, a large bag of Yukonuba dog food, 28 pounds or larger, um, and $20 will go to Canine Companions from each bag that is purchased. And this will run through the end of this year. So we're very excited at the, the opportunity uh, for Canine Companions with this campaign. And Raquel, for our viewers who perhaps don't have a dog to purchase food for, how can they help during this campaign? You know, it, there's so many ways. Um, Canine Companions is a 501c3 charitable organization, so any donation that you can give them is greatly appreciated and it's tax deductible. So really um, encourage people to donate. You can also volunteer your time, you can volunteer to fundraise, you can even volunteer to be a puppy raiser for the first 18 months of the dog's life. 
uh, before they actually go to the full training school. So there's many great opportunities. And, and like Paige mentioned, every dog is provided to a person with disabilities absolutely free of charge. So whatever we can do to help mitigate some of those costs for them would be greatly appreciated. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to yukonuba.com slash US slash canine dash companions. Well, thank you so much, Raquel, Paige, and of course, Jingle, for helping us learn more about National Service Dog Awareness Month and how we could help those in need get a service dog that would be a perfect match for them.